Hey, good afternoon, Manchester and Hick and all the surrounding areas here. It's kind of a rainy but lovely day. And I am so excited we have Bridget here as my co host. Fine. Soon we'll, she'll be a regular. Yeah. Okay, we'll get everything squared away here. And the most exciting part, ladies and gentlemen, we have my friend, Reverend Debbie Dijon. Did I pronounce your last name right? That is correct. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. From Ohio? It, it, yes, from, from Ohio. Ohio. She's a former person from Exeter that ran away from us. <laughs> but she's coming back. We'll, we'll do a nice. reading on her. But Deb, Reverend Deb, you want to tell people about yourself and your website so, and all that? Um, sure. Uh, I actually uh, grew up in the High Valley. I uh, moved uh, many places, and uh, my heart is certainly in New Hampshire. I lived here for almost six years and um, with my partner, and we just uh, love it here. We feel that uh, this is actually home. We come back at least three, four times a year, um, and so we look for the future of perhaps uh, doing that for us, uh, Spirit leading us back. And you have a so, website? I do. My website is www.amanda, the last name, Dishong, D-E-S-H-O-N-G, dot com. That sounds like a gravy, Dishong. <laughs> <laughs> is it a, is it a, or is it Dishong? What is that? The Do, mustard. The mustard. Yeah. yeah. You know. And it is French. So. Yeah. So, uh, well, you are coming back. Wonderful. Uh, I'll put that back. I'm ready But you got to go to New York first. Okay. Well, you know, I've I been to New York, and I'm actually teaching in New York yeah, this year. Okay, so that could be why you're going to be coming. Okay. But I do definitely see you coming back, okay? Wonderful. And you've been doing a lot of traveling. <laughs> yes. And you're going to do some more? I Actually, it's on the books, so yes. Okay. When you come back, don't forget, you got to let me know so we get have you back on the show. Uh, you know? Believe me, I'll be here. <laughs> okay. And we have my lovely friend and soon-to-be permanent co-host, yes. Bridget. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Not Morris. Yeah, it is Morris. Yes. Oh, I remember. <laughs> oh, I was. I almost said Powers. I don't know. I almost said what? Powers, but that's a movie actress. Okay, and you are with Amy Major. Yes. Okay, and you just opened up a place down there. We did in Hampstead, New Hampshire. Yeah. It's right off of um, Route One Eleven. It's Infinite Journey, okay. and we also have a metaphysical gift shop, which is in the center, which is Sticks and Stones. Which is where I got my necklace. Oh, <laughs> snowman, make my bones, my <laughs> name will never hurt me. No, no. we won't hurt you. No. Um, <laughs> she would be, if you ever come up, she would, if you could book her in to have reading for you, she would be a great. Absolutely. I'd be delighted you. to do that. And I, would, I think you both know me well enough to know that if I didn't say it, if I didn't mean it. You know, because I think that's ridiculous not to. One of the things that I've also seen with you is that, do you do medium work? Do I do? Yeah, mediumship. Oh, absolutely, yes. You train yourself? Um, well, spirit I, train you, I should say. I, I, yes. <laughs> like with me, you know. And everybody thinks that you, one lady says, you can't be a medium if you don't go to school. And I go, really? I said, I got to tell you right now, your mother's laughing at you for you <laughs> saying that because your mother is also a reader as well, and she's passionate. Oh, but, uh, but, uh, you know, I love it when they do that, you know. <laughs> anyway, are we actually 100% accurate whenever we read? No. I went anytime that they, people say they are, then you know what? I tell people to stay away from them. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah. like that one, 800 dial, Clio, and all this other <laughs> stuff, you know? So, what do you do down there? Do you do just readings down in Ohio? Um, I actually do my mediumship work. Um, I've been uh, with people all around the country now. I do intuitive life coaching, uh, and I am a consultant with a lot of businesses around the, the U.S. as well. And so I've been uh, very busy with that, and I do uh, crystal healing. I've been doing that for uh, almost uh, 17 years now. Oh, tell us about the crystal healing. So the crystal healing, actually, you, I take the energy of the stones, which a lot of people think, you know, this is a stone. What are you, what are you talking about? Or like the jewelry that you're holding um, on you. It really has power. And science has known that for literally decades because they use everything around us right now is running because of computer chips that are made out of crystal form. So really, do they know that in science? Yes. So it's 
really a no-brainer that we should be using it for spiritual things as well and healing. Um, and they do resonate with certain parts of the body um, and the chakra centers in the body, and it resonates with the frequency of organs. Um, so I use a lot of the crystals to help people both physically, emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. That's exciting, isn't it? You, just, you know, you're going to be doing that. I am? Yeah. You're not going to be doing so much as the reading parts of it. It's more like she's doing, okay? I'm not trying to discourage you. I want you to learn the reading because this is what yeah. you want. But honestly, I, I'm looking more at the... Um, um, and that's a healing part of it. Okay? Yeah. Because I think right now... I'm going to be a Reiki master. Okay, yeah. Awesome. And that's what I planned on doing is using crystals with my healings. Right, yeah, see? Okay. I do my own healing. I don't call it Reiki. I call it the spiritual healing. Yeah. And it's from the, the spirit that told me. And I used a word one day, and the spirit was not happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> and you know how they are when they get unhappy with us, right? And uh, I said, I'm giving you a method of your own. Wonderful. And I said, okay. And he said, when I think you're ready, then I'll be, and I've been doing it, and people are coming back and telling me, am I a healer? Absolutely not. I am a tool, like you're going to be a tool, like you're a tool. Right. When Absolutely. people, I get very discouraged when I hear people say, I'm a healer. No, we're not. We are, we are tools. We're conduit. Yes, right. absolutely. No, the what word? The conduit. That's the word. That's what I can yeah. never remember. See, that's why you're going to be here to help me remember things. Okay. <laughs> and, and then, but when, that's all we are. That's right. You know? And when people say that we heal, people know. I, do I love Reiki energy done on me? Oh, absolutely, yeah. you know? <laughs> Makes about my sex drive. Even at my age, it's, uh, you know. But, <laughs> <laughs> well, I can dream, you know. <laughs> but I actually went, and, I was going to have my heart checked out okay mm -hmm. and my friend Bob Wattel who's a Reiki master as well he did some Reiki energy on my heart and around my back and it's supposed to be a two hour uh, testing Passion. program I was done in 45 to 45 minutes wow. and they kept saying to me where is your you know, weakest point or where's the pain I said, there's no pain they were mad <laughs> And I said, you're still going to charge my insurance company for two hours anyway, and you're going right. to get a break. I said, all I have to do is go to the bathroom, you know. <laughs> and then when I went, to the, I don't remember, for, I think I had my cape, my glasses before when I last saw you, or did I? Yes. And I went blind for a while. Okay, yeah, I think I had my glasses and my white cape. Yeah, yeah. And so I went, and I had it done at the uh, Elliott Take here. I'm walking into it and I'm saying, I'm going to see, I'm going to see. And they were sending, and Bob was sending the Reiki energy. And once again, when it, instead of a half hour, once again, 20 minutes, I had my eyesight back. Wow. So, folks, Reiki, uh, you will tell He gave you back your eyesight during Reiki? Yep. When I was doing the surgery. Right. Yeah, they was doing the Reiki to do it too, okay? Mm -hmm. Because otherwise it would have taken like an hour, you mm -hmm. know, because I had other stuff with me. So I have to, if, if she says that she's going to help you with Reiki energy, trust me, she will help you. Okay. we got to get her to have that confidence. <laughs> Does that make sense to you? When you and I go in with more of a, okay, we're going, you have to, we, we, we explain, and you will be doing too, if I get talking too much, you know, to tell me to stop. But we know that uh, when we tell them that we're going to try to help them, we are going to try. There are some people who will not be receptive to it. Right. Right? You know, oh, the first time I had it done, I was at the hotel down here. And uh, this guy, my whole body turned like ice cold. Really cool. You know how the coils, remember the old-fashioned refrigerators with they had the old-fashioned freezer going on, on there? You probably, you two guys probably don't remember that. But anyway. I worked for a heating and air conditioning uh, company. I ran into a lot of different things. Oh, okay. <laughs> so remember the cold, the frost? That's what my whole body, and that's what my whole body was. I said, this isn't for me. Because my body was whole cold. And the guy said, that's because you're blocking it. I said, no, that's because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. <laughs> and then, I went, then when my friend Bob did it, no, yeah, and then my friend Bob did it, and it was great. I would recommend that to anyone, especially people with cancer. You know, yeah. will it heal the cancer? No, but will it help them too? Absolutely. Speaking of that, uh, this is a time when we're going to be sending out prayers to my friend uh, Vicky, who is just a matter of time because she has cancer. 
and she's going through a lot of traumatic. Her boyfriend broke up with her when she, he, she went into the hospital, you know, and like that. And then some other people. This is a time when we're going to have a special blessing for all the people who are cross and all the people who need healing energy coming to them. Okay. Would you like Absolutely. to do that? Certainly. All right. All right. Infinite intelligence, we come forward with great love and prayers in our hearts that all the comfort from those loved ones in that spirit side will wrap around those that are making that transition and those that are here with us still sharing life in the physical but getting ready for that transition let them feel and know that all their loved ones and friends and certainly those family members that are four-legged are right there with them as well and certainly will help them over that bridge into that place we call eternal life. Amen. Amen. See, Thank even you. though we're spiritual and everybody says, oh, that's the devil's. I love it when they say that to me. <laughs> I do. And then I challenge them, you know. But I love it because we never forget to take care of the people less fortunate than us. Absolutely. Okay. I had myself on a pedestal one day, and I didn't like the feeling of it when it got broken down. Have you ever been so high that you had your ego tested? I think all of us do at some point in yeah. our life. Absolutely. It's no fun, is it? No. You know, no, it's not. <laughs> no, I am that superstar, you know. And I would, I would not actually. When we had a, uh, an event down at the uh, old studio, mm -hmm. I refused to go out with set with the other readers. I would sit in a room by myself because I was the. Until one day, I said, "Oh, really? Let's see how good you are." And I didn't like that at all, you know. Yeah. And another lady said to me, "You got to drop that." She said, "That sword you have in your back's got to come out." It was like a gold sort of, and I'm looking in the mirror, and I'm saying, oh, my God, I am so wonderful, you know. All of a sudden, the mirror says, who the hell are you? <laughs> That's when you learn that you've got to drop your ego, yeah. you know. And when is it? Tomorrow is your anniversary? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. yesterday was. Oh, yes. happy anniversary. Thank you. And you had good weather. Yes. Actually, we went to the beach. It was beautiful. Yes. Hampton Beach? Yes, Hampton Beach, yes. Kind of cold there, wasn't it? Well, it was, but we don't get it all the time. No, like so you enjoy it, so. right? There's a, you know, there's a lady of the sea at Hampton Beach. I don't know if you've ever seen the statue of the lady. Oh, absolutely. You know, and I, I, went, I, I saw her one time, and I could visual. Everybody says, you're you know, out of your mind. But I could see the tears coming down her eyes. I really could. I could feel the, the heart pain that she was going through because you know she was seeing what mankind was doing to this ocean and what it was doing to the the um the waterfront or whatever i could mm. you know when i'm saying how man is destroying the earth and we are yep. we can change that absolutely you know we're getting a lot of warning signs yeah. major <laughs> Warning signs. I talked to a yeah. lady from California yesterday, and I said, and I really believe this, and I want you to put your psychic ability on for me. In California, I'm seeing there's going to be a lot more devastation, a lot more earthquakes, a lot more fires. I mean, everybody said, oh, but this is already going on. Yeah. No, it has not even touched the iceberg of it yet. And I'm actually seeing the earthquake going through New through, um Lower part, San Diego, lower part, down through New Mexico, Arizona, and into Mexico. Because, you know, it's just got to. Unless they change. Yeah, I feel that there's going to be more coming actually throughout the country. Oh, absolutely. Than, than what we have even seen. So, How about you? What do you think? I think that we need to start listening. You know, I mean, yeah. we're, we've really done some substantial damage to... To the planet and if we want it here for a while we've got to stop yeah. you know yeah. i'm actually looking at in africa you know 125,000 acres of land being burned down or 1.25 acres of land being burned and in haiti until they start turning their life around start seeing get rid of the voodoo get rid of all that you know and i see a lot more look at what's happening in haiti 
you know, and all the damages and stuff. And the Dominican Republic's going to get hit really hard. The whole world. Absolutely. The whole, even yeah. our country, yeah. does that? Because there is so much anger and so much hate going on that, isn't it sad? Yeah. You know, I got to start bringing out that negative on Facebook, too. I'm really good at that. <laughs> I really am. I get these people so upset. And I, I even I say I'm at fault, too, you know. But my thing is I would love to see the Democratic Party and the Republican Party join as one. Absolutely. And there is, there's definitely people out there that are trying to have that happen. Yep. You know, we're we're still all Americans. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't need to be split. No. Some views can be different, but it doesn't mean it needs to be yeah. chaos in the country. And, yeah, yeah. and this is what I put on Facebook. Why can't the Democrat and Republicans all join together? You know, what people don't realize, they can slam Obama, they can slam Trump, they can slam you or me but the spirit has already chosen who's going to be the leader of our country or who's going to be the leader of russia who's going to be only you agree with that i do i actually see that there's um a catalyst yeah. that's actually involved in this situation with trump yeah. i've told many many people since before he was in the presidency yeah. that he's going to actually bring great change and if people will allow it to happen, you Absolutely. know. And uh, I'm a... For I'm the a, good. Yeah. For the good, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. As so, long as I was going to say, you yeah. get a specific... Yeah. Because yeah. For well. the good. Give <laughs> yeah. him a chance, in other yes. words, you know. I'm, I'm a messenger from Nostradamus. I've been told that by many, 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 many other people. And, and I also... If you read the last part of Revelations... Okay. I have many times, and, and you, I'm sure I have, and you read the uh, no, messages from Nostradamus. They are parallel together. Hey, I used a big word. You did, didn't I? <laughs> you yeah. did. Oh, I would be proud. <laughs> <laughs> Mankind yeah. is going to destroy themselves. It's insects are going to overcome a lot of it too. Okay, but mankind, if we don't get it together, folks, yeah, I'm a little show, I'm a local show here in Manchester. You guys can say, I don't know what I'm talking about, but you and I do. And, you know, that's who we are, you, you know, too. And if you disagree with us, don't be afraid to give us a call. If you want a reading from my dear friend here, and I'm so excited, from my dear friend, Reverend Amanda Gijon. Yes. Hey, I got it right. You did. And that's why you're here too. You know, I don't get it right. <laughs> but I mean, if you just look at China, you know, and what they're doing to their environment, they can't breathe. No. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, and if we don't, I mean, that should be our wake-up call. If we don't take care of our planet, it's going to all be the same. Yeah. Absolutely. You know? Okay. I have a question for you. On the vi you, you were the environmental, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. When all these uh, satellite dishes. All these micro microchips and all these missiles that go into the air, you know, planes and all that, and all that stuff. Doesn't a lot of that radiation come down here to Earth? All absolutely. And isn't it Not affecting only that, a, yeah, the, it's affecting. all the chemicals and everything that are you know burned? You can't burn jet A fuel or any kind of fuel and not have some type of you know emissions that mm -hmm. are going to affect our world and and certainly the more we fly um, the more we have things shot up into space um, the more devastation it is um, for the environment and it's it also goes to people that are here having four or five cars in their driveway because every single kid as soon as they turn 16 has a vehicle in the car just like or in the driveway just like their parents yeah we never had that one. We oh, well, I didn't have one. I had I, one. I was a kid, but yeah, I, had I was a, fixing it yeah, and yeah, didn't get to yeah, drive no. it for three years. I had a 1951. My first car was a 1951 Ford Victoria. Holes in the floor. No registration. No, you know, no suspension. And we would take that car out. We were right all. That's how old I you know? <laughs> and uh, we went through all the, oh, Sutton. You, you ever heard of Sutton, New Hampshire? Okay, New London. Yep. Yeah. Springfield. 
I grew up in Springfield, right next I to New London. Not so much Springfield, New Hampshire. Yeah. So we drove all around here, one carpet, a one horse town. We even put the um, one of those logging chains on his rear on his rear axle, and we talked it around the telephone booth, and we went flying through town. You know, they knew I did it, but they couldn't prove it because my foster father was a judge. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but you know. And the thing is, when we got into fights, we didn't have to carry a gun. We didn't have right. to carry a gun, you know. Right. But, you know, mob gang meetings were way back, even in the Ro ancient Roman days, if you think about it. Raping of young children were way back in the raping of days, okay? Absolutely. And it's so sad when people get into a fight, they can't do it one-on-one. -on -one, right. You know, because it's sad you have to fight. Yeah. But I used to like to. <laughs> I really did. Well, it I, sets boundaries. I yeah. think it's a way of yeah. humans figuring yeah. out where my they... Favorite, when I want to fight, my favorite says, how does it feel to be beaten by a fag? <laughs> 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 then they went embarrassingly lean, you know. But, you know, we all, we're all human. And I have a very good friend of mine uh, who's Dick, when I met him on Facebook, who's going to be coming on my show. The, the sad part is just signed a contract to make a lot of money. And the minute he signed that musical contract, he got sick. Oh, wow. Another person that I know who was imitating Roy Amerson, he had some kind of a stroke or whatever, and that's sad, too. And then there was another one, John. It seems like a lot of these movie actors and these people that are about ready to sign these contracts, mm -hmm. or whatever, something always ends up happening to them. When they're in their conceit, whether they're pride or what, I don't know, but you know, it always happens. You, are, by the way, are going to make it to 103 years old. I'm ready. <laughs> your grandmother I have is, a lot to do. <laughs> there you go. Your grandmother is very proud of you on your father's side. Mm. Okay. Wonderful. She, she didn't understand what you were doing. She didn't understand your lifestyle. She, you, I thought that's your permission. I may I ain't talk to you from her? Thank you. Yes. And she thinks that your partner and you, your wife and you, are, are very good together. She's very happy for you and you. Okay. Wonderful. And she was, did you know your grandmother on your father's side? I knew my grandmom. I didn't know my great grandmom, yeah. which I'm named after. Right. Okay. But she didn't, she had a hard time accepting your, your lifestyle. Because remember, she's from the old school down south, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she had one of those uh, homebrew type things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I also will tell you that your dad, is your dad passed as well? Yes, he okay. is. He thinks you're the bomb. <laughs> Okay. Were you close to your dad? Extremely close, okay. yes. He at first did not understand it. He has to admit about your psychic ability. He's from, was he a pastor or devoutly we were, religious? We were very religious growing okay. up, yes. Well, you still are yeah. in your own way. And, but he comes to church and says, no, I'll tell you now, you're not going to hell. Because he thought that people that did that, you know, that I did. Absolutely. And, you, and he also was very proud of you doing something that you want to do. He wish he could have done it. Okay. You were really close to him, weren't you? Yep. We fished every day, and, yeah, I was with him all the time. Yeah. What, there's something about a teddy bear. Tell me about a teddy bear. Um, I actually kept a teddy bear on my bed till I went to college. Um, the first one I they bought me when I was one year old. My mom took the, the button eyes off of it and sewed the eyes on. So... So that's I with him have right now. To choke myself okay. with. Well, that's with him. Okay. okay. And your mom as well. Okay. You 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 know what it's like to go without. Is what he said. He said, "I'm sorry if I couldn't give you everything you wanted." But he said, "All I can give you with love," and okay. he did do, and that. They did do and that. And you have another sister. Yes, I do. Okay. And you're close to her. Yes. Okay. You also have a brother. Um, my mother miscarried actually okay, well, twice, that, yeah, okay. and, and they, well, were both, your, okay. they were they, both boys. Right, they're both with your mom, okay. and your dad. Okay, you have a cool, you have a large family. Um, cousins and uncle, aunt, and absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Huge. The, yeah, you have a person that's a relative of yours that doesn't understand, and she, uh, well, if you talk to her, she will turn your back on her. On you, you already. Know, I'm not going to mention names, but you already know who I'm talking about. Okay. okay. I also will tell you on, oh, I, Toby, I speak about your mother and dad as well? Yes. 
Okay, you know, yeah, yeah, okay. If you're not sure, you're welcome to come up, but that's okay. But uh, her mother and father are also very proud. Okay. Is your dad still alive? No. Okay, he's also passed, right? You're doing things he wanted to do but never dared to do. You know that, right? Yeah. And your mom is very old-fashioned as well, huh? Okay. And I also will tell you that they're, they're very happy that you're happy. There is a lady here, ladies and gentlemen, she's just camera shy, right? There is a lady here, you verify that, right? And you will too, right? Okay. <laughs> but she also told me that they told me to tell you that you're not going to be coming home for a long, long time. Which home? You're not going to be crossing over for a long oh, time. Oh, okay. 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 And you two. <laughs> I you thought you meant to, travel. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. And the one thing that I will tell you is it's okay if you smack her around. They said you could. <laughs> <laughs> you both have tempers, huh? <laughs> no, actually, I think we're pretty mild. Well, you get a little, I mean, everybody. Oh, yeah, you get a lot. Has a yeah. Little, okay. my, my partner, when we had, when I'm a temper tantrum, he just goes in the other room, or turns over and goes back to sleep. I think Joan does that when I do that. <laughs> <laughs> Come up and say hi, then they'll know you're real. Then you can go back and sit down. <laughs> That's all you got to do. Come up and say hi, then, you, then they'll know they're not talking to the air. Yeah, there you go. This is, Hi. Uh, there you go. <laughs> this is Amanda's partner. What is it, your wife or your? Absolutely. Your, it, your I, we always say partner. But, okay, I like yeah, that. But too. we've been partner. married for eight years. Yeah, so, yeah. And uh, so, she see. Like I, somebody. Yeah. I'm sorry? <laughs> she says wife. That sounds like you own somebody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you belong, are you, you're a wife. Do you belong to somebody? Or are you two? No, you're too independent. <laughs> okay, we already know that, right? You have a mind of you. And you know the weird question? I know. She's on a committee, and I know one of the ladies that work on that committee. And do you, you don't know Lorraine, though, right? You, have you met Lorraine? I know Rita. Lorraine is one of Rita's best friends. No, I okay. don't believe I've met. You, you'll meet her at one of our events. Okay. One of the things I'm also looking at you, too, is that you're not done traveling. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> you, you need to buy yourself a condo so you can have a home base. And it's going to be here in New Hampshire. But you're going to spend a lot of time in New York. I expect that. Okay. I actually see you teaching in New York. Wonderful. Okay. And I actually see that your partner, who does the cooking, your partner? Actually, I, I do a lot. We both share, yeah. but I do a you lot. You enjoy That's your relaxation, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I love cooking. Yeah. Who does the laundry? Um. 99.9% .9 of the time, Joan. <laughs> Good. Me too. I'm the same way. She eats. Scott does it all. But, uh, Scott said that. I gave him the base and now he does it. I'm very spoiled. Uh, I am too. Don't I you totally, love it? Are I you admit spoiled? it. <laughs> you spoil your husband? Though? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. My, you know, Scott brings coffee into me. He makes my breakfast, my lunch. My, I love it. You know? yeah. and I'm very happy. He, I asked him, I said, do you feel... That you, that you have to go, no, he doesn't mind. One lady, we were in a cookout. Kate, I, you haven't met Kate no. yet, you will. She's part of my committee. And uh, I, I said, Scott, I'll take, you know, some set, blah, blah, blah. And she said, why don't you get it, get it yourself? I go, why? Wow, you're right there. I said, I know, but he's right here. <laughs> she, got, <laughs> she got really upset with me, you know. <laughs> The only thing I do is dishes. I don't, uh, once in a while, sweet put, do it. I, nobody can do the dishes to, to my way of doing things. Okay? I and mean, he mentions them off, and I wash them, and then I rewash them, and I do <laughs> we, sell, we sold our dishwasher because I wash them up, and I put them in the dishwasher, then I take them out, rewash them again, and, and you know, once it sits in having a dishwasher, mm -hmm. right? One thing I'm also looking at, there's somebody that you went to college with who made fun of you. Okay, who had a hard time? There was a girl who had a hard time accepting who you were or what you were. Or whatever. She, you're going to be getting a call from her because she really wants to make amends with you, and she's really going to need a lot of your healing energy prayer because I see her having a lot of sickness around her, okay. a lot of emotional sickness, and you're like, hey, we forget. We really do. It. You do too. But sometimes it's hard for you, but you can do it, right? Okay. And I, the one thing I will tell people is I don't, 
Uh, I don't believe in accidents and I don't believe in coincidences. Everything yep. happens for me. Like Absolutely. you and I meeting today or you coming today. I don't believe in all that, you know. Well, we met. <laughs> in the car right? Yeah, we parked right next to each other. Yeah. How small is this world? In thousands of course spaces. Were okay. <laughs> Here's a question, folks. Who was the lead singer, or, or who sang Mac the, Mac the Knife? And in what year did he sing this? Let's play it right now for you. All right, here we go. First call, first call we'll get a reading. The shark All right, so the first person who calls in with the name of the musician and the year the song was released uh, will win a free 10-minute reading, and the number is 603-640-3091. Again, that number is 603-640-3091. Good luck. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, uh, between Amanda and I, five minutes for Amanda and five minutes for me. How's that sound? Wonderful. Okay. That sounds wonderful. Okay. And this, is cha this show has changed a lot since you were on the last time, believe me. Yes. We have a lot more energy now. We Absolutely. have a lot of fun here. Mm -hmm. and I just love doing it a lot more, too. And um, One of the things that I do look forward to with people, that, you know, there are three women. If you look over there in that corner, and let me know if you see them. There are three spiritual women that either give us the approval or not mm. the approval. Okay, we had one. We had these people from Sturge. I think it was called. They they do the uh, ghost hunting, which I don't approve of. I don't yeah. like it all. And one of the women actually come up and talk to one of the people that were actually one of the ghost hunters. She has never done that before, and they could she could feel her energy talking. You know, wow. I I don't like the word ghost to begin with. Right. 
I think they're spiritual, and I think that we don't have a, especially with abandoned houses, I, I, I get very upset when I hear people going in and they're doing the, you know, all for publicity and all for this, instead right. of doing it for, you know, for the, to help the family release their spirits or whatever. Right. Amy Major does the uh, spiritual release, right? She, yeah. Um, what Amy Major does yeah. is she's a rescue medium. Yeah, that's so right. So if there's a, a spirit who's earthbound, she will help them trans, trans, um, she over. Said, yeah. Yeah, to, yeah, to the spirit world. See, that's a big word, too. See? I know, and I was having a problem with <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, uh oh. <laughs> but do you, how do you feel about that? Um, yeah, actually, I, I think that. We can communicate with, I don't like calling them ghosts either. Yeah, I, know that. Oh, good. Um, I think I call some of this Hollywoodism. And and why I say that is uh, there has to be a hype with Hollywood. You, you have to do things, you know, scary. or um, And what the work that we all do with our mediumship is not scary at all. No. It's very peaceful. It brings a lot of genuine love and peace to those that are here. And I believe it also helps those that are in spirit bring that message to their loved ones and friends. So I don't see any need to chase um, these spirits around. And, um, you know, I sometimes I think if they're being peaceful and you chase them around, maybe they do get aggravated. They do. You know, I mean, if somebody here, I'm sure if you would constantly antagonize them, maybe they would get upset. Mm -hmm. um, so I just, I think that we just need to kind of, um, you can investigate, you can go in, you know, maybe put some meters in, figure out if there are, you know, those energies there. I don't know, you know, we're in New England. I don't know that there's any any place here that wouldn't have a lot of energy. You know, we're the founding area of our country. So if you're talking about yeah. being here since the 1600s, I think every location, grounds, Absolutely. buildings, all these places are going to have a lot of energy. And 99.9% .9 of the time, those energies do not bother the people no. that are housed in or work in those buildings. See, I'm a. I, I agree with you. I, I I I was in this. Oh, I was in this most exciting house in Gaffstown near Bond. Okay, you know how they had they, they advertised the uh, brick layers on the house on the TV. They come and they put it all on the house and all that. But this house was built in the 1843. Okay, and the energy in there was just so fantastic i believe spirits select who they want in there mm -hmm. oh absolutely okay if absolutely. they don't want you in there they're gonna make it very very and i don't believe in the demons gonna get you you know yeah. i really don't do they will and they're not gonna kill you you know yeah. what i do believe in they're gonna make you very uncomfortable mm -hmm. yeah you know yeah. but if you show their spirit respect by cleaning the house Put a little flowers around the yard, and maybe like me, tiptoe through the tulips, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and but if you do that, you know, if you respect the earth and you respect that house, they're going to respect you. I, I truly believe that. Okay. Yep. If they're not, you know, in the place where you live in, <clears throat> in Ohio, is it okay? Yes. Is it an older house? Um, actually, I was housed. My business was housed in. Um, a logging river man's um, house that was built um, in the 1842, I believe, yeah. um, in that era. And there was um, like four level to the home, and it was a Victorian home, so very, very old, um, where my business was for a period of time. Well, you know, Abraham Lincoln had a business there, too. And the, he actually traveled through a lot to, into New York, yep. um, and he actually had a condo um, that he stayed in right over in extra New Hampshire as well. Yeah. Abraham Lincoln traveled a lot. Yes, he did. Okay. And, and he was a man who believed in God. He yep. was a man who believed in people. Absolutely. Oh, I'm just getting a message from him. Very unusual to get him at all. He also said he will continue to fight for America. And he is, even spiritually. Awesome. And people would just start listening to each other. Yeah. Democrats, stop blaming the KKK because you guys started it going to history. You know? <laughs> really? Yeah. I'll have to look that up. Yeah, look it up. Yes. And uh, Abraham Lincoln was a Republican. 
And he was actually um, a spiritualist as well. Yeah. Um, if people would understand spiritualism, he got many, many readings. And one of his dear friends yeah. was Andrew Jackson Davis, yeah. which started the Lyceum Children's yeah. um, Service part of spiritualism. Yeah. They were dear friends do for I, many years. Do I hit the button? Do we take it now? No. He'll get it. Um, one of the things that, yeah, see, a lot of these, like, erotic, okay. Hello? Hi, Mary. Oh, hello, Mary. Hi, how you doing? Hey, how are Hi, you Mary. doing? Uh, I'm having a lot of problems right now with my back and my right shoulder. Oh, no. Okay. What happened? Yeah, yeah. It, the muscles and everything else, is, it's just, I guess, I don't know. Uh, I'll know Tuesday when I see, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, the orthopedist? a specialist, I don't yeah, for yeah. Tuesday, it yeah. seems like I got a hernia in my neck. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh, no. Cause we we missed your call last week, so I figured you might have been sick. Yeah, or I was in doctor's office. Yeah, this is a very dear friend of mine that's on here now, uh, Amanda. Yeah. yeah, Amanda. She is traveling all around. She's like a social butterfly <laughs> that never stops where she's going. <laughs> you know. That's the thing you can do it. Oh Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I feel very yeah, blessed. Feel like it yeah. Really is. Yeah. Hey, you had one of my uh, former guests on last week, huh? Yeah, she's a nice, nice lady. Jody, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Jody. Yeah. Well, I'll give you uh, Amanda's number when I get home, and when next time she when you going back? Um, next Sunday. Next Sunday. Oh, okay. Well, when next time she comes up, we'll have, we'll notify you. Can, she can come on your show. That's wonderful. So everybody's welcome. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I think I know who that is, but I'm not sure about the year. I say '59 for the look of the tie, uh -huh. and that's Bobby Darren. All right. <laughs> you, the tie gave it away. Right? She did. She did. She <laughs> she got it from the tie. Yeah, you get you were absolutely Mary. <laughs> you want to have a reading, my my friend Amanda? Uh huh. You want to have Amanda give you a reading? All right. All right. Mary, the first energy I feel coming in here, I keep feeling mum's side um, of the family, and I feel mum and a grandmum here. Um, and yeah. I, f I feel like you um, were close with both of them, uh, but I, I feel like at times um, you, I feel you taking care of your grandmum um, when she got older. Do you understand that? No, I didn't take care of my grandmother. I did uh, my mother. Uh, okay, because I kept feeling you reaching out and, and touching them and, and very much, uh, I want to say, helping them with that uh, that transition um, in their yeah. life. So I, I feel that mom's really grabbing your hand right now as she's touching me. I feel like she's touching your hand and thanking you. Um, at times she may have been... Um, she's saying a little feisty towards her end. Yeah. Do you? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but she's saying that because she didn't get to really uh, tell you and thank you enough um, for helping her through everything, she's saying. Yeah. Um, I know you're not an only child, um, so yeah. there was other siblings, but Mum says you kind of stepped up and really um, took over and, and really helped her through. I did. My sister backed away. Yeah. So she's so she's so thankful. She's still around all of you, and and her energy's there. And I feel that there's children around you too. Um, so as far as here in this physical, you have children as well. Is that correct, Mary? No, I don't. She has nieces and nephews. Oh, niece. Okay, because I because I, I feel like you're they're with you a lot and have been with you even when they were little growing up. Is that correct? Yes, they would. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I keep feeling there's three. Is there three of them that you're very very close to? I am. Okay. So I know that um, they're. Your mom's energy and this grandmother saying they're certainly around everybody and watch o over them as well. Um, and they're trying to watch over this um, with your neck. Um, I don't feel like you had an accident. It just seems to have happened. Do you understand what they're yeah. saying? 
Yeah. Um, so um, they're making me count down, and I keep getting one, two, three, four. So I don't know if it's the fourth vertebrae down in your neck, um, uh, but I certainly feel that she's given me the four, and she's counting down the back of your neck. Um, so I feel like that's going to be um, the part that they see. Um, and you don't have any records taken yet. Is that correct? You yeah, don't... no, I'm seeing a, an orthopedic uh, Tuesday. Okay, so what I'm feeling right now is that I would say um, as you see that doctor, um, they're giving me like um, what spirit's showing me, So, because I usually don't do medical intuitive things they're showing me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and they're yeah. squeezing the jelly out of the sandwich so i feel like it's literally herni herniated to the point where the gel um, is coming out and then hitting against the nerve and when i feel your energy it, it feels to me like um, it's coming more on this left side is that where you're hurting yes okay yes. Um, so I'm actually starting to feel some of the pain myself. So um, it's like you want somebody to be able to hold your head very, very still because I feel like at any motion, up or down or even sideways, um, seems to send a jolting pain out to the end of um, your arm and, and yeah, down, right on, right on the mark. down your shoulder blade. Um, so mom and your grandmom is there, and I certainly feel there's lots of other family members there, um, and they're all really trying to send that, that healing energy to you. So know that um, you can sit quiet just for a few moments um, throughout the day, different times, and ask their energy to be there. And, and I certain, I'm certain that you will literally feel them there with you, and I certainly will keep you in my prayers as well, Mary. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You are very welcome. Me as well, Mary. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I definitely see, I agree with you. I see like a little ball there and something that keeps spurring up. I want to ask you to have that go to an acupuncture. And I think that would yeah, I, uh, I went to a chiropractor. Uh, I usually go to them for my neck, and when they snap it, it feels so good. Yeah. Yeah. But this time, he wouldn't even go near it. He's not touching it, Mary. Right. Your what? neck is so bad. And yeah, I'm not even touching it. Well, now that's yeah. an honest one. Yeah. And I, I actually, yeah. Mary, for some reason, I'm seeing some financial support coming to you. Wonderful. In other words, you're going to be doing a lot better. Funny. Mary used to be my body guy when we were growing up. <laughs> I just had a fight. You know, Mary and I have known each other for a week. That's why I'm going to have wow. you, because I know her so well, I'm going to have you continue <laughs> doing reading with her. Okay. okay. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. If you want to continue on to finish reading with her. Absolutely. Okay. Hey, Mary, she's going to continue because I know you too well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I already know. Yeah. Okay. So I'm feeling like, um, you know, once you see the doctor, um, Spirit showing me the month of June as um, everything's uh, kind of, I just feel like things are taken care of to where um, all that pain is, is gone. And I actually see, like, they're making me move my head, um, and I don't feel that jolting pain anymore. So I would say yeah, June. Oh, my goodness, the pain yeah. is unreal. It, it feels like they're going to give you some things to help with that um, through May, but I feel like uh, perhaps that's the surgery gets scheduled or something in order to help with that. Um, and I see June, and then Spirit makes me feel just a very um, calm time, uh, a very calm. Uh, whose birthday is in June, Mary? In June, um, the only one I know in June is Addie. Okay. June 1st, and my cat is June 3rd. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it feels to me like... Um June is a time of celebration, but I feel like that could also be that you finally feel better um, and you're really um, wanting to kind of uh, be out there and, and be doing things that you haven't done for a while. Yes. Um, your mom loved flowers. Yes, she did. And and as she's showing me the house, um, she loved flowers inside and outside. Although oh, she's gosh, yeah, she she loved her her favorite one was roses. Yes, and she and she grew all kind of flowers. Wonderful, 
Well, I see them inside and out, and she's trying to put that energy around you as well. Um, and she says the colors, you know, of the flowers mean things. So I get that she's saying maybe sometimes even just um, bringing colorful flowers into the house in a vase. Uh, she did. And yeah, she had to have flowers. I don't care if we had breakfast. They had to be flowers on, on the table. <laughs> Wow. Wonderful. So just know that when you do that for yourself, that's part of mom really uh, being there with you as well. And I feel like um, cooking a bit is um, she's going to have you doing a little more of that. Um, through the summertime yeah. uh, because it just feels to me like she would have loved fresh vegetables and um, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm seeing all these oh yes and her bean I make, I make her bean uh, we have your, that, we have so uh, she yeah, is so she awesome. just has wonderful energy there with you and she's making me feel such love and, and happiness that she can still be around you here and so I know that um, she may not have understood all that spirit side, um, you know, when she went to that side, but she certainly does love the energy there now and being able to help her family members here um, and come back and, and be with everyone. So she certainly, um, I see somebody driving by on a scooter. Um, did you have one when you were young? Because the person looks young. No, it wasn't me. Um, when I say a scooter, do you you know what I'm saying? Like a just like a Vespa or a little um, one seater, one person. Do you know what I mean yes. by that? Yes, 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 I do. Okay. Um, well, I feel like this is somebody coming in that you would have known when you were young, and they're waving as they drive by. They had darker hair, um, and I feel like there would have been. Um, that person would have often been in dresses or um this takes me into definitely into like the 60s where you would have wore the i'm not sure what they now they call them um the name just they're longer pants but they're not pants they come like yeah. um partly up your legs and there's like a little cut in them on the side but they're yeah. but they're tight so they're not a real loose pants. Are they pedal pushers? Uh, yeah. yeah, like like the pedal pushers, I think they called them. Yeah. Is, okay. Yes, yeah, they did. Um, so when I see her going by and she's waving, she's very, very happy. I feel like she's trying to get you to kind of reminisce and look back at those younger times. And you'll remember who this person is when she comes by. Um, she... I want to say that her hair was more plain because she lets me see all the people around her and they're kind of in a little bit more of the the uh, bushy hair, like the beehive look, but she had straighter hair, um, a little bit shorter and more just plain with I her. I know who you're talking about. Oh, and I she she's just feels wonderful. She's trying to get you to think back of those childhood days and bring that energy to you. She said, really, she can help send that so that this summer, when you get to feeling better, then your energy also brings that kid-like energy back. And mom says, make sure you plant some of those flowers, even if they're in pots. Okay? I will do it. There you go. Right. Wow, well, how was that, Mary? That was good. I mean, that hit on everything. Good. Hey, that's good. Really good. Mary makes the best beans. I'm now. She kept saying, "I make the beans. I'm ready." Oh yeah. So we're having a big event. As far as I know, I want you to mention April. I mean, uh, July. I think it's 28th. I'll let you know the date exactly. If you want to help us get it organized, okay. And if you if you're around here, we'd love to have you come and do readings. But so we'll leave we'll that keep, up to the I'll spirit. I'll look at my schedule. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at the spirit, see if you're around, okay? Because when Mary is helping us, Mary thought, you didn't know you were the chairman of the food committee, did you? No, I didn't. Well, guess what? <laughs> Do you want to be? Sure. All yeah, right. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> she can make some, but you, my daughter-in-law, Mary Contend, does not like carrots. But Mary makes carrots, and she'll eat them. So Mary makes a special dish just for her. Mm. Am yeah, I, I right, do. Mary? You know, 
And my daughter, my granddaughter, picking up how to cook now. She made us a supply for me to have for dinner tonight. Mm. So I'm excited about that. Absolutely. You know? <laughs> and uh, well, thank you for calling in, Mary. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Thank you, Mary. Anyway, let us know what the doctor says. All right. All righty. I'm back. I'm seeing another doctor this Friday plus Tuesday. Okay. Keep in contact. Okay. I'll keep you in my prayers, Mary. Thank you, yeah. Mom. Okay. Bye, bye now. Thanks, Bye-bye. Mary. Yeah. She said she used to fill it. There you go. There you go. She used to, to, yep, there you go. She used to every so often fill in on my show as a co host. And now she's got her own show called Cruising with Mary. So I'm excited uh, about it. Oh, <laughs> Cruising with Mary. That could have been the friend coming by. That could have been. Could be. You know. <laughs> okay, that's yeah. Good. You know. And if you weren't right, she would tell you. I, I could tell that. Oh, yeah. She could tell you. you <laughs> Which know. actually, I love that. I love when people do that because then you can ask spirit, mm-hmm. you know, what what did I miss? Yeah. Because sometimes they're throwing twenty things at us and we got to decipher them so fast. So I always love when people are factual like oh, that. Yeah. I had a lady when I first started out doing live, you know, at different clubs and stuff. This lady come in, but this tough lady with a leather jacket, that hot black high heels and the tight jeans, this tough lady, and she says, "What did my father have to say to me?" I go. Do you really, really <laughs> want me to tell you? I asked you. I said, okay. Remember, everybody out there, I've never seen her, and that's what I'll tell people. Yeah. You know. And I said, I don't know who she is, but guess what? Your father just wants to know what happened to the $250,000 he entrusted to you to take care of things. Her face dropped. She literally ran out of the place. You know, and I'm like you are. If I'm not, if there's something, if it's not the person that I'm describing, then tell me so we can refocus it. Absolutely. Because I refuse to do it if it's not the right person. Right. You know, I'm not going to look bad if I can help it. I'm too gorgeous for that, you know. <laughs> well, aren't you, aren't we? You know? Absolutely. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and uh, whenever you shuffle these for me. Absolutely. Okay, and give me 10. This will be for you and her again and say she's camera shy. Okay. With Joe's permission. <laughs> Okay. God, I haven't touched a card deck in years, yeah. decades, actually. I like to use your energy. Yeah, I do it for. Now I'm going to have you, okay, we're going to spread them out. Okay. You can slide your mic in you right up here. Absolutely. There we go. This is for you two. Then you want to click one afterwards? Sure. All righty. Okay. If you take out 10 cards, don't look at cards. I was going to say, actually, I'm not sure because um, the last time you gave me a reading, you told me that my car was going to have problems. And it <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It did, it didn't did. it? It yeah. did. Very, very fortunately, um, I was on my way home, and I was coming up Route 111 in Nashua, and I could feel that something was wrong. And when I pulled up to the light, the car died, but it had just enough energy to take it off route 111 and i was in a parking lot and you know i mean it was for a bad situation you couldn't have asked for a better place you know it was safe it was lit it was you know it was midnight when my car died and um no one told me it was going to happen and your father's laughing you know (laughs) so you're doubting if you're going to have enough (laughs) (laughs) time to get a new car seriously well, gotta, this one I think is uh, had the radish. You're right. Okay, you gotta get. <laughs> you have to get another one, or you're gonna have a lot more problems. Oh, yeah. You're gonna be spending more money. Oh, I believe good it. Good money. I believe it. Yeah. I was asking the pendulum the other night, and yeah. it told me I'm gonna get a practical car, not yeah. a fun car, because I'm, I'm at the point in my life right now where I could go either way. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I mean, I could really, you know, get into that sporty convertible. But that's for the not summer. who you are. <laughs> yeah. Just for the summer. Yeah. I don't yeah. want it in the winter. It's too cold. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still, a, I'm still a, a convertible girl. I'll always be. <laughs> well, know? Joan had her crisis not too long ago, and she bought a sports car, loaded leather into everything, and um, and now the past year and a half, she's been saying, "What did I do?" <laughs> she learned a valuable lesson. Yeah. Okay, I can one, do a Jeep. <laughs> there you go. One Jeep thing I'm looking at you, you think you have learned a lot. You've just barely begun learning how to do work with a spirit. Wow. You have just begun learning. Because right now, we've been, both have been doing this for a long time. I realize yeah. you're only 18. 
you know. Yeah. But spiritually, you really are only 18, okay? Okay. But, um, I believe that. Yeah, you really are, but yeah. you haven't even touched the iceberg of the knowledge. Wow. Okay. You're going to be so overwhelmed at times that you're going to go, wow, what the heck is going on? Okay. So okay. expect the unexpected with that. I actually see you teaching in Canada. You have a passport, right? Hmm. No, I don't. But well, I'm, you better hurry. We've been talking one. about getting one. You both better hurry up and get one because I see you. Okay. Send out near Montreal. There's a very well known place there that is going to be. You're going to be doing a lot of teaching. I'm you're going to get some the hackling from other people, being the so-called Catholics and Christians or whatever. So expect okay. that. But you and I thrive on people having problems like that. I, I, yes. you know, we really do. You know. <laughs> do you have a pet? Not currently. Oh, no. you got one coming. We've been talking about a little puppy. <laughs> After seeing an injured dog that you guys are going to nurse and bring it to oh, health. Okay. And okay. someone that's not too far from where you were staying, it's been abused or whatever, neglected, they were okay. going to trade it to have be in a dog fight or whatever. And you and your intimate wisdom... When you glare at somebody, they can back down in a hurry, okay? And I don't mean that's, that in a bad yeah. way. That's you an know? agreement, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that seems, yeah, that yeah. seems to happen. And it's a medium-sized dog. It's maybe like a year or two old. Okay. And it, Joe, it's going to favor Joan over you, sorry. I figure, I already figured yeah. that. Joan is a mother. She's a love dog. bug. Yeah, she is. <laughs> And she's going to nurse that dog back to health like there is no tomorrow. And the so-called owner see it. is going to want to come and try to claim the dog back. And so you can't, you may end up going to court. You will win. Okay. okay you both will because you'll be able to prove. So make sure you bring the dog you take all kinds of pictures. Okay. Gotcha. All right. And it wasn't very, it's just somebody thought they would be cute. And they thought they would train the dog to be a dog fighter, which is hard, you know. Yeah. But I also will tell you that it's going to be a, a challenge for both of you. Okay. And there are going to be many hours you're going to be sleeping alone in bed because Joe's going to be sleeping with the dog. <laughs> I, I can I know see that. that. <laughs> yeah, I can see it too. Can't you, you know? And I think that's pretty cool. Well, at least she gets to keep the bed. <laughs> yeah, there you go. For now. <laughs> for I now. also will tell you that you know you've been married, what, eight years? Yes. Okay, you've got another 25 what, to 30 years or more. There is a lot of jealousy on uh, people all, uh, around your area because you two had such a great relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the thing I, I always love the old saying: well, when two women or two men get together, there's always fist fights and all that stuff going on. It doesn't happen at my house. It doesn't happen at your house. No, you know, we're only human. We do the things that we do right. Okay, you're also going to be teaching in a in a junior college. Hmm. Okay. You're, okay. A bio, you're a biomedalist and specialist, right? Yes. Okay. You have a master's? I do. Okay. And you're prepared to teach at a college? Uh, yes, I actually have in the past, yes. Oh, you're going to be doing it again. The pain's going to be phenomenal. You may have to, for six months, put your, what you're doing and traveling so, on, on the sabbatical, okay, okay, on the shelf for a little while so that you can regroup. The, because you get burned out very easily. Because you have so much stuff going on at one time, your mind is going, boom, 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 boom. It's like somebody <laughs> playing ping pong, you know? you know. That's a good way to describe yeah. it. <laughs> You've been through a lot of rough times, too. I have. It, 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 people don't realize it just because we're spiritualists or whatever. You know what? It hasn't always been peaches and cream. You know? That's right. I believe that we have to work our way through. I really do. Absolutely. In order to help other people. You have a heavy right foot, do you? <laughs> yeah. Can you afford to pay a five hundred dollars? I'm assuming it depends on who you ask. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can, you, can you afford to pay a five hundred dollars speeding ticket? Uh no. Uh, so I'll be going slow. <laughs> and you know, your wife is going to remind you, right? Or your partner yeah. is going to remind you. Well, she you. does. She says, "Do you want to pay the ticket?" <laughs> yeah. Now you got more of a reason there, right? <laughs> you know. Health-wise, I am a little concerned about your blood pressure. Okay. I see it going up, then I see it going down. I see it going up. You bury all your anger issues. You don't really like facing them head on. you got to remember the world is not all pieces and cream and rosy. 
Yeah, that's okay. very true. I would also tell you to go out in the woods and scream and yell and holler and get all that anxiety. <laughs> and if you don't, you're going to have a lot of problems with the intestines. Do you have burning okay. sensation now? No, no. Oh, okay. Thank God, no. Okay. But I would probably encourage you to do that. Okay. Okay. Like, okay. I would definitely tell you to really don't be afraid to do that. Okay. That's why I need to go uh, back to come back to New Hampshire. There's right. lots of woods. <laughs> go out to the ocean and yell. I know. <laughs> take, your, take your partner with you, let her, because she also expresses but she's more hyper than you are. You're more lasso. She gets really a lot of energy going. All right, right? Who has the energy, you or her? Or not, who's more nervous? I think she hides it yeah. better than I do. Yeah. But it's all yeah. going to come out, and it's going to be all when she... And then I do know this. If she gets really upset... And she thinks she's offended somebody. She's going to cry for hours. Oh, my God, what did I do? Oh, I hurt that poor person. I hope I didn't hurt her or his feelings. But you know what? They probably needed to be told. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I would tell her. <laughs> yeah. You also, wow, dude. you really don't like making decisions, do you? You have to ponder them. That's probably true. You 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 know when I you got to become every a little, yeah, you got to become more spontaneous. This is what your mother told me to tell you to become more spontaneous. If we don't make mistakes, how do we learn? That's right. You're going to be working in another hospital as an environmentalist specialist. Yes, <laughs> and it could be up towards the Hanover area. Hanover, New Hampshire yeah. area. Okay. The Hitchcock Hospital type area. Okay. You're also going to be teaching up in that area. So it looks like you will be coming back to New Hampshire and doing a lot of visiting in New York. I okay. do believe you'll probably stay in New York for about six months, you know, to do a lot. But I do see more like the, the, uh, like the Hitchcock Hospital up there and all that. Okay. The pay will be okay. 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 Just okay? Just well, yeah. it's going to be affordable. <laughs> Money mean, doesn't really mean that much to you, as long as you're happy. And, yeah. Oh, yeah I won't yep, tell you it'll be a six-figure number. It will be? God, we're moving to New Hampshire. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to start setting out residence. Okay? <laughs> you're also going to have some teeth work done. I actually, I have a dentist appointment next Tuesday. <laughs> okay. When you brush your teeth, you're like a jackhammer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It takes you to drink one wine too many, shall we say, you know. See, that's another thing. People think because we do what we do that we shouldn't be drinking. But, you know, a lot of people enjoy wine or a lot of people enjoy it. I can't because I'm an alcoholic, so that gets yeah. me 21 years, you know. I used to do a lot of readings when I was drunk. <laughs> I had a lady, I had a guy come in the other day and said, my mother, you did a reading on my mother 27 years ago. And I go, wow, I must have been really plastered. <laughs> <laughs> But I also will tell you, you got a lot of good, and I don't see you buying a house, but I actually see you in renting a house to own. Ah, And then possibly okay. turning it into your own house. And okay. I also got a, a 1.5 acre of land. Okay. So that Joe can have a garden. Ah, okay. You like gardening? Yeah. Well, you better learn how to like it, right? And I, I think it's the weeding that's the problem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. Yeah. That's true. Oh, God, I did that one time with a hangover. Never again. My foster father found out I got drunk. You know, I said, teenager, he said, well, my garden needs weeding. I go, but it's so hot out there. Well, he said, Too bad. it was that hot when you got drunk. Oh, huh? oh it was a nightmare. The housekeeper told me. You know? <laughs> but I also, I definitely see, I also see you're having another, a young man or a lady come in to stay with you for a very short time. Okay. Okay. And it's a relative. You have a brother? No, but I have a grandson. A grandson? Oh, oh, you have children? Yeah. Joan does, but oh, I Joan consider does. Yeah, him well, they are. He's going to want to come and live with you. And you know what? He's going to really want to come in. And he really needs a lot of help from you and your, your partner. Okay. So don't give up on him. He starts that old, right? Okay. 16 isn't that old once you're no. age. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. But his parents, and there's something about his parents not doing things for him like they should. Okay. You know, and then telling he's not responsible, you know. And I don't see a lot of, and uh, you and he, you know, your grandson's going to want to uh, live with him, you know, and stuff. He's going to accept. They haven't, uh, he's having a hard time accepting his own sexual identity. Okay. Okay. And you're not going to force it. You're just going to talk to him. You're going to go to... And he's actually a very, very intelligent man. 
And I'm actually seeing me as very good at artwork. Ah, he is. Okay. So don't be afraid to open your door for him. He's not a freeloader, okay? okay? okay. He... Oh, that's out. Oh, no. I did it again. Hello? I always mess it up. I'll have to call him that. I hate that when I do that. <laughs> Don't you? Um, he wouldn't call him the landline? No, he said he can't get through. Thank you. Hello. Hey, Al. If you hit this button. No, I'm not. I'm not. What's your take on the board? And you just shut me off. Yeah. I thought it was pretty good. Oh yeah, and the the, the salt six man, we got to win, but I I am not I'm not very happy with them. I mean, not the the Bruins. I'm really not very happy at the way the referees are playing the games. I think we have a chance to win tonight. It's to either win or go home. They have to win tonight. I'm gonna say about yeah. I'm gonna say ninety five percent we're gonna win. I feel like that. And yeah. my other reader feels the same way. You know. Yeah. 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 One by five last night. Oh, yeah. 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 Did you see when one of the players, Celtic players, got $550,000? I didn't hear who. Was it a form of Celtics? Yeah, because it, it, he was complaining about how the referees were not doing their job. And they even did worse yesterday. It's a miracle. They weren't even calling the fouls on the um, on Milwaukee. But every time the uh, Celtics turned around, they were getting fouls, but we still won. Yeah, he's out. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That when they come back, they're gonna come back strong. I really believe that I, they re really needed to have this losing streak so that because they're uh, they were getting too ego, their egos were getting too big. Yeah, you know. Uh, we're doing pretty good. I have a very dear friend of mine I haven't seen in 150 years, but, you know, <laughs> she, she's from Ohio, and she's made a special trip over here. So we're really excited about it, you know. Well, then we'll get into the run. We'll have some downfalls this evening. There could be a rumble of thunder. It's a patchy fog will form later at night, and the heavy rain this evening will transition to scattered showers late at night, and the temperatures they will stay in the low 50s, a mild night. Tomorrow we'll see some clearing after a little bit of morning fog and maybe get a, a scattered shower tomorrow morning, mid-60s tomorrow afternoon. And the, the outlook now for the day on Friday, we're going to have uh, some, some morning sun early and then becoming cloudy some late afternoon and evening showers. The coastal storm will track just to our south and we'll load them in the 60s on Friday. Saturday, mixed sun and clouds, 65 to 70. A cold front will be a late day or evening shower and then Cool weather, mostly sunny in the middle 50s Sunday. We'll be in the lower 60s on Monday, maybe 70s next Tuesday. They'll have a big warm up part to be next week. Oh, I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> so, are we done with the well, snow? And the weather snow is just like maybe 80 plus on Wednesday that week from today, but that may be stretching. I won't see. But yeah. looks like uh, 70s next Tuesday for yeah. a change. Oh, I don't want that. You know that. Uh, I don't like that heat. Oh my God! I would die. I would not like it out there. I was out there for a while. That was too long for me. Yeah, they'll be in the 90s. I think it'll be 120 this summer, even maybe 125. It gets pretty hot out there. Oh yeah, it sure does. I'm actually looking around the 15th to the 18th. A real big, either a snow and rain mixed together, or a big heavy rainstorm. In May. Yep, I think, no, in the, either, yeah, in May. Yeah, because as I said, we're already at the 26th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's going to be a real heavy, heavy rainstorm. I will, yep, all righty, yeah. yep, we'll talk to you in a bit, yep. Yep, have a good week. You too, yep, bye-bye now. Bye-bye. He was my favorite weatherman, my absolute favorite weatherman. You met him before, right? Yes, I did. Yeah. 
Yes. He was on my show for. He was on the show the last time I yeah, came on. Yeah, he was a regular, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and he's a great guy. Some guy called him one day. Oh, I was never, never so mad. If I could have got away with it, <laughs> I would have worked out through there, uh, and I would have probably punched the guy in the head. <laughs> he he had no reason to be so rude to Al like that. Tell Al was a washed up weather man. He didn't know what he was talking about, blah, blah, blah. Wow. I wanted to grab it. I wanted to go, you know what I mean? But uh. I held my cool. Mm -hmm. I held my temper. And I said, sir, if you would kindly hang up, I would appreciate it because if I lose my cool, I will get kicked off the air. You know, because Al is one of my best friends. You know, we go out to lunch together. We went out last Thursday, and he got all the attention. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, <laughs> we focus here, okay. You definitely, I actually would probably recommend that you get, a, you know, like a, uh, not buy a house because you're going to do an awful lot of traveling. Okay. Okay. I, yeah, so I'm not. Cause I, I'm really not comfortable with you going to California to do a show or whatever because I don't want to see you get screwed. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're going to do this. They're going to want you to do this, but they're going to give you a check, but the check is going to bounce, hmm. and that won't be too cool. Okay. I, I'd rather keep you more on the East Coast, going to like maybe Chicago or maybe Ohio, but I don't want to see you. You know, I mean, you have to. You know, you, it's all up to you. Ooh, wow! You're gonna lose a lot of weight. Yes, both thank of you. you. God. Okay. <laughs> you got stuff eating all your own good cooking. Yeah. <laughs> you eat a lot of spinach. Uh, actually, a fair amount. Yeah, yeah. You should eat more. Okay. Okay. You eat a lot of red meat? Um, no, actually, not very much. One, I would probably say once every two weeks. Okay. Not okay. the cheap part. See, people say don't eat red meat. I'm sorry. I don't agree with that. The Spirit put everything on this earth for a reason. I also will tell you, find some dandelion greens to eat. Ah, uh, that's okay. That's my grandmom coming through. Oh, yeah. yeah. That... We had to do that every spring. Oh, my foster mother, <laughs> yeah. we go up in the woods and we'd take a knife and we cut them out from the roots yeah. and they're always, and you cut the blossoms off. My mother yeah. used to make elderberry, I mean, uh, dandelion wine. Dandelion wine. 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 Yep. And with the green, oh, they're so good. With they little, are. They're cooked in salt pork. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Yep. So you and I from the country, aren't we? Yeah. You, you know? Yep. But I did not, and my mother, my, my grandmother was um, old Irish. She lived through the Depression and the potato famine, and if she knew that she could cook those dandelions that grew in her yard, she would have. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just, yeah, you wilted them. And then, that, yeah, and then you had that little white thing you <laughs> in the air, and yeah. we always said the angels were fly when we did that, you know. <laughs> I also will tell you that uh, one thing I'm also looking at, you're getting a new car. You mm. are. I am. Man, I just got a new Subaru. <laughs> oh, okay, brand new one? Yeah. Okay, then it's yeah. not you then, okay. So you already got it? I'll take it. But right. she, she but needs she, one. Yeah. But well, she so also she needs to learn how to drive better. She wants to get rid of the... Yeah, and she's going to. Yeah. She's going to focus more on her driving, not let her mind wander around. Okay. Okay. Even though she yells at you for driving, but she's got to do it too. <laughs> that might be me. Maybe you know, I better be wander? paying attention. Okay. <laughs> she can be overly cautious. You're like, go with the wind. <laughs> yeah, I actually that, see another right. convertible. Okay. I'm going to have to hang out with you. <laughs> okay. You like convertibles? Uh, I've never actually had one. Oh, God. Moon roofs and stuff, but oh, we rented one a couple of times. I always have convertibles. I, mean, I had to let my hair flow in the wind. <laughs> Never knew what Dana color was going to be, but that's okay. And then I look out the window, my son and daughter are putting the top up, you know, cause, you know, like that. <laughs> you too. Oh my goodness. Oh my good. The love that you two have for each other is incredible. It really is. People would get having bets on how long you two would actually stay together. Just to let you know. She probably had a bet. <laughs> <laughs> no, people outside of you guys. I, I would yeah. agree with that. People I also probably will tell have. you she enjoys spoiling you. I, can, I would definitely agree with that. But you spoil that. her too. Yep. Okay. 
I definitely see that dog, so I don't know when it's going to come. I'm not going to send a day that's car. Okay. okay. But I also will tell you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is a hot, there's a spirit that is going to be coming either into your house, okay. your new house, or where you're living now. And they're going to come in real magic for me. They're going to be laughing and laughing and laugh, okay. laughing and laughing and laughing. All right, stop. Laughing and <laughs> laughing and laughing. We should stop already. No. Okay. Laughing. You know how spiritual work, right? Absolutely. And it's, going to, it's their way of welcoming you two into their house. Okay. And it's going to be a four-bedroom house. You gotta have like a fireplace. It's like an old fashioned colonial. Okay. And you have actually lived in this house in your past life. Okay. Okay. You're an old soul, you know that, right? I feel that, yeah. yes, absolutely. You know, Joan's older than you are soul and soul wise. Wow. Okay. This is why you, you two also knew each other in your past life. Okay. That we both believe, yes. You were a bully to her. Back then? Yeah. <laughs> But you're paying for it now. <laughs> you're going to be going, there's someone in your family or her family that has cancer, and it's a woman, or it could be somebody you may know. And I'm looking, I don't see a healing coming to it. Okay. When I do see in the next 12 months that you're going to have to help her to cross over. Okay. And whether you're there or whether you're spiritually there, okay? And don't be afraid to be there. Okay. She that's had a, a sister pass from cancer. No, oh, okay, so that's the yeah. one that's already, okay. Then you both have to got to help her release that Absolutely. spirit to the other side. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. You, both of you have to, don't hold her here anymore. Okay. I think subconsciously we hold our people we love without realizing it. We hold them here and out, you know. Mm. Beat the drum slowly, beat the drum slowly, because there is a song and a poem that you're going to be writing. Mm. You sing? No, but I write poetry. Okay. Your wife sing? Yes. She has a beautiful voice, doesn't she? She she doesn't think she does, but she does. Gonna, I love hearing her sing. We'll have to hypnotize her and have her come sing on the show, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> she has like a country western type singing voice if she wants to. She has a lot of many. She was actually a very professional singer in her past life as well. I believe as okay. much as she loves music, absolutely. And, and she also was a good dancer. Are you a good dancer? Um, no. I'm not very good. Joan doesn't yeah. dance at all. No. She chair dances. That's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I used to dance on the table. They get a picture of me dancing on the table, actually. <laughs> The old past is going away. There's a whole really new beginning. You know how I told you, mm. you haven't touched the iceberg on your spiritual level yet? And you really haven't. Okay, be mm. prepared for the un unexpected. Okay. I don't see you going to Europe. Okay. Uh, unless you want to, but I do really. That might be a vacation time for you, but I do see that you need to spend a lot more time in a water area, because that's where you get a lot of your energy from, okay? Absolutely. And um, I actually see a place where there could be a pool in the house that you're going to be getting. Hmm. Okay? I definitely see that dog you know, okay. down in my mind. And I said, open your door to her grandson. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. You might have to go to court to get custody of the child, and you two are both willing to do that, okay? And with the dog, I just see you say with that dog's life. You've saved many dogs' life when you realize they're not, whether they're your mm. pet or whether they're other name. Do you communicate with animals? Yes, absolutely. Isn't that fun? Oh, it's amazing. Boy, they yeah. could, I went to another house on this. I show you, and this guy, this dog was telling me about how when her husband went away that she would bring her boyfriend in. <laughs> and I'm looking at him. I said, oh, I can't say that. And she said, go ahead. I said, okay. I said, your dog, your dog just told me about you having a boyfriend when your husband leaves. And I, mean, and I thought he would go up too, you know. Yeah. But I, the spirit, the dog wanted him to yeah. do it, you know. So he spread around, I was right, you know. I hate doing stuff like that. I really yeah. do. When people ask for it, I don't, I, don't I tell them that them. usually spirit is one thing there is on the other side. It's, they're factual. 
You know, we the tr- the they have term no to lie. yeah the term truth doesn't exist in the other side. No. Everything is automatically yeah. truth. So they'll tell you the facts. Yeah. Have you ever had mixed messages from the spirit side? Yeah. They, I think what happens is sometimes we de- start to debate. Yeah. Should we say this or yeah, shouldn't yeah. we? And then that's where the debate goes. Because a lady put on the Facebook one time, do spirits send out more than one? Do they have mixed messages? I go, yeah, absolutely. And you have to weigh out which one's from, which way, the one you, you, you know. And right. one guy said, no, that never happens, you know. So, you know, everyone has to write to their own beliefs, you know. Yeah. I don't see you with cancer. Okay. Do I see you having a sugar problem a little bit? Yeah, I uh, know. You know, those bonbons are awful delicious. You know, <laughs> but I, I, you got to really watch your sugar level. Okay. Okay. When's the last time you had your eyes checked? Um, year and a half ago. Okay. I think. Year I, ago. Do you wear glasses though. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I just gave them to her, so I don't have oh, them. Okay. You don't want to. Yeah. I think glasses are very distinguished. They made I didn't me almost know if it would to, glare with all the. <laughs> yeah, they they almost made me want to go straight when I see women. <laughs> you have any questions? No, that was amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, Lori always puts these all in order for me. See, like that, she always turns around, has them all like that for me. Well, Lori spoiled me. She did. Yeah, if you would do that, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Lori really did. She really spoiled me. Spoiled. You know. <laughs> She, that's part of that's part of what I miss about it because she pulls everything all up for me because you know, she knows I'm a very you're the same way I am okay. thank you I admit it I definitely am yeah, <laughs> I don't like everything I get cringy yeah. that's like I hate my food touching and I, I don't go, mind that but Joan hates her food touching all right yeah when I go to a restaurant I want everything on separate plates that's pretty much her <laughs> Isn't it awful at the touch? Ooh. Stuff, stuff all up. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I stick everything. It just goes. I'll spend the now on taking everything away. That's what she would do. Or if I go to a restaurant, especially after I've told them, if I don't tell them, I'll try to figure out how to eat it. But once I tell them, like one time I went to uh, the airport diner and everything looked like mush. Oh. And I said, you won. I'll never be back here again. But they didn't like my review either. It wasn't very nice. I do a lot of reviewing, and I do, <laughs> you know, you know, treat it the way it should be. Or not. Okay. You want it done or not? Oh sure. No, oh, okay. You're all ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> I just was shuffling them up for. I'll be nice. She's for you. ready. Oh, I'll try to be. <laughs> you want to do it? You want to read her? No, I I've never used the cards. I, no, but I you want to look at her. I love reader? seeing how you're doing. Oh, this. okay. Then <laughs> you can confirm. How's that? Okay. These are only a tool so that people can see what they're going. Because you and I know most people like to see something laid on the table. Okay, I'm going to have you take out eight cards. I love doing readings on TV. I love doing readings with other people. I do have one question for you, though. Mm-hmm. My roommate had six years ago won his Social Security Disability. Okay. And we haven't got it yet. The guy said it's supposed to come here in May. What do you think? Think he'll receive it? I feel like it's been a spirit just kept saying it's been a long time waiting. They, right. um, I see paperwork and then I see paperwork and then I see paperwork. So I don't know if he applied three times or had oh. um, paperwork sent in three times or there's something about the right. three. Um, and then I feel like May, somewhere around May 18th, for some reason, they're showing me. Oh. So I don't know when that. Yeah. It just they're showing me just that date, so there has to be something hooked to it. Right, they owe a quarter of a million. Okay, I'll and take it. Be happy with it. And it doesn't feel like it's more paperwork. It no. feels like, and it's stranger saying right. that's yeah, because the well, eighteen yeah. is like um, yeah. like a starburst, like you'd see on a lottery yeah. where they they show that number, and then there's like a starburst effect. So I'd say if, if it's cool. that much money, yeah. no wonder. <laughs> And my sister's not going to be as much as that. You know what? As long as we get something. That's what uh, I have to yeah. do. You know. Oh, my goodness. First of all, you're on the right spiritual path. Do you know, you talk about signs, on my way up, both of those license plates I saw. Spiritual, right path. Right. 
You are. You're right. <laughs> awesome. you're actually, you're great. She's actually on the right spiritual path. Absolutely. Talk and about got, validation. <laughs> really. And yeah. you've got to stop doubting yourself. Okay. Yeah. And that's one of the biggest problems you have. Okay. Do I see you doing readings? Actually, you might do a few here and there, but that's not actually going to be your forte. I'm sorry. What's my forte? The readings are not going to be your forte. You will be able to. I actually see you becoming a hypnotherapist. You'll be very good at it. Mm. You, you can hypnotize your husband and have more wild sex. <laughs> <laughs> it's always yeah. a perk. Hey, there you go. <laughs> but actually, I think that hypno if you did hypnosis, you would be really good at that. Mm -hmm. And if you do a lot of your own Reiki energy, not what, yeah, it's fine to get what other people teach you, mm -hmm. but then you have to practice. Do you agree? You have to practice. Absolutely. You take what you do, okay? For me, it's called spiritual healing. Spiritual, yeah. you know, I don't call it Reiki. The old you is dying away, and a whole new beginning is starting. I mean, when I say a whole new beginning, it is going to be really, whew, what's going, to hell is going on, what's mm -hmm. happening? You're going to have nights when you don't sleep, because your mind is going to be so boom, 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 guarded. Get a new car. <laughs> um, financial, seven of diamonds. I didn't come up with you, but that means you're okay. But seven of diamonds, you've had some struggle, but it's gonna work out in the end where it's gonna be okay for you, okay? Mm -hmm. There's someone in your family that's disabled. Your husband, this is okay. They owe him a lot of money, okay? He, you're gonna get it, because you're a fighter, okay? Whatever, you, they told me to tell you not to give up your charity work, not, but not to be quite so involved in it, okay? Because mm -hmm. it takes away from your husband, and he gets mm -hmm. very lonely. This is what spirits told me. No, I, I, I've gotten the feeling that I need to step back. Yeah. Okay. Good. And when you're located working with uh, Amy, I love Amy. She's my very dear friend. You, wait till you meet her. You'll love her. Uh, years and years ago, I, did, I recall meeting her. I think you have, yeah. And uh, you got a decision. You want to continue growing in that area or you want to open up your own area once you've been uh, You're going to be there for about a, a, another year. And then it's going to be time for you to grow, and you have a decision make. Do you want to go to another place and open up your own? Mm -hmm. And that's going to call it having confidence in you. Mm -hmm. You are losing 50 pounds. I know that's kind of personal, but still, it's all up to you. Well, I thought about it this morning, but you know. I also want you to bring your blood pressure down. <laughs> yeah. Your blood pressure goes. Shh. It can. Especially when you're upset. And the whole household can be here when you're upset, right? <laughs> Your dogs? You have dogs, right? No, not anymore. Oh, you got what you want, a cat? I don't know. You don't have a choice, that spirit told me. <laughs> I was going to say, the pet thing's been up in the year. I don't... Uh, my I see husband, a dog and a cat. Yeah. Your dog wants a dog. Your husband wants a dog. I was going to say, your dog wants a husband. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that would be very good for him spiritually to grow. Yeah, that's what I've, you know... Yeah. Give him a purpose. Yeah. yeah. You know, give it, give it, give it for him, like at a rescue league or not, you know. Yeah, no, we had, when, when we lost our dog, it was really, really tough. That Your dog told me to tell you to get another one. He'll send you to one, okay? I believe that animal sent us to Oh, one. absolutely. Okay. I also will tell you, your husband isn't faking the hearing. He does have a hearing problem. I know you call it selected hearing. <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> But he really does. Do. That's why the TV is so loud. And when he talks, you what? Huh? What would you say? Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> but he does. I'm not saying, a lot of it is play acting, I'll agree with you, but a lot of it is our hearing loss. Yeah. I don't know it's something that, what he did at work that created it or mm -hmm. whatever. What do you do for work? I think it was more the loud music. Oh, okay. He was you in know. a band. Um, no, it's just there was, you know. Always loud music around. Always the music was really loud. But I a hole in the eardrum. Put you a hole in there, okay. But I'm also and he works you, around tools. Yeah. You know. Okay, yeah. He has a hard time realizing that he has a handicap, too. Mm -hmm. But he's still trying to keep busy, okay. He's very intelligent, but he doesn't use it like he should be. Y yes. He could be a mechanical engineer if he wanted to be, or a blueprint, mm -hmm. what, what they call a blueprint person. I fucked mm -hmm. that course. Yeah. <laughs> I made a bookcase that was supposed to be this high up here. My time I got done with it was down there. <laughs> yeah, no, he's very talented, yeah. very yeah. talented, and he's yeah. got a great vision of his projects. Does he finish him? That sometimes is an issue. <laughs> yeah. But he's really got to, he could actually do make some good ones and sell mm -hmm. some. 
Yeah, you know? I feel money exchange. So yeah. I've, I agree I've told with him that. that. You know that there, he could definitely that. sell. He could sell the like stuff. Like on the yard sale or mm-hmm. Actually, at our event that we're going to be having, I'll talk to you more about it. I'll let you know what the date we're having a mm-hmm. meeting on, and you could bring you know set up a table, okay, and uh, you could do really well, okay. Long well, they're not you know real real big, you yeah. know. Also, I will tell you, is your mother still alive? No, no she passed, right? Was she angry? I feel a lot of tension there. Are you angry at her too? Not anymore. No, okay, good. But she still has that. Not tension. anymore. I um, I don't like to be angry. No. You no. know, I don't think that it's worth the energy. No, absolutely. You need to write her a letter. Mm-hmm. And write your true feelings out. And then, then, the, then if you got sage burning out, you agree with me, then burn out the sage. Because I just see all that tension, not only in you, but every the whole world. Mm-hmm. Okay. She was very angry. Well, you, you find a mother weren't divorced, right? No. But she was angry with him? Was she really angry at the whole world? Yeah, she, she could How's be. That? How's mm-hmm. that? Because in order for her to go to a higher dimension, she needs to learn how to let go. Mm-hmm. And you need to teach her how by writing to her. Mm-hmm. Even just write her a letter, okay? Mm-hmm. And say, hi, Mom, how are you doing today? Or say in a prayer. That's going to help her to be able to, oh, I am okay. Oh, this is mm-hmm. doing great for me or whatever. Oh, stop. Chug-a-lug-a. I don't know what chug-a-lug-a needs. What does chug a need to you? It could mean a couple of different things. <laughs> Were you a chug a lug beer drinker? <laughs> no, I don't drink beer. No. Or a drinker? I don't know. I'm getting a thing with chug a lug. Only you know. I'm uh-huh. not going to reveal it because it's not up to me. It's up to you. Yep. No, no. Your husband watching the show? No. No, oh, okay. Don't contemplate a divorce. He loves you. You understand what I mean by uh-huh. that? Okay. You've got to open the door of communication more. You have children? Yes, two. Two. I don't, see, I don't remember. I know I did a reading on you, but mm-hmm. if I read, and you're going to say, well, if we remember and everything we read to people, <laughs> wouldn't that mean even more? <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't have my own mind no. at this point. <laughs> you have a daughter? Yes. How old is she? 21. 22. Pretty smart. But both of my children are very smart. Who's and the lazy one? <laughs> With the intelligence. Both of my children. <laughs> Both of my children are very, very smart, and you know they don't. Yeah, but you have a son. Yes. Okay. Is he more lazy than? If he uses intelligence, he could do really. How old is he? Twenty-eight. He uses intelligence. He could be really successful financially, mm-hmm. but he's just be. Ha- he's a pretty happy-go-lucky yes. person. Okay. Drives you up a wall at times, huh? Because <laughs> you're energetic. He's he's more like his father. He is, you know, I mean, he's, he's, a good he's creative, yeah. you know, he, he works well with tools, but he's yeah. extremely smart. If he actually did sculpture, he would do really well, okay? You also have a lot of artistic visions about you, but you get kind of plaisé about it because you're afraid that you're going to make a mistake with it, you know? Mm-hmm. That's how we learn. We have to learn to, if we make mistakes, because only, only I am the perfect one. <laughs> Folks, if you believe that, then I'll sell you the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be perfect. No. Would you? When I used to be a supervisor, I never gave anybody perfect because that means there's no room for imper- mm-hmm. improvement. Absolutely. Take care of that car. You got a leaking exhaust pipe. In the car? Yep. My car went? I smell <laughs> gas in it. Now, do you smell gas exhaust when you're driving me once in a while? She probably will on the way home. <laughs> now she will, right? <laughs> She'll be more in tune with it. Your husband has his own vehicle? Yes. Uh, you're a better driver than he is. I've been telling him that for years. But his ego won't let him. <laughs> when he goes to a stop sign, you can rub it into him. How's that? Five minutes, Norman. Okay. You are so full of love that you now you're gonna start loving you. I, I, I agree with that. Okay. Yeah. You beautiful. Absolutely. You a winner. Absolutely. You love yourself. Yes. Because you don't tell the whole world you love yourself. 
You may do it inside. You got to believe inside mm -hmm. that you are. That's like inside. I had to, believe, you know, I could tell everybody. I look at me. I'm an alcoholic until I learned it inside, and I could tell the world I'm gay. You know, finally one day, and Lori helped me with it too. And, you know what? I am gay. Okay, who? I don't care. Mm -hmm. You know, as long as you're happy, that's that's it. And I think what you're doing now right. is making your happiness. So Spirit just showing me that you're loving yourself and other people, your jaw, everything's. Let's much hold off on that uh, that uh, video, okay? You got it. You just want to go to the end, Norm? Yeah. You betcha. Okay. I'll give you the next five minute signal. You'll see is five minutes to the end of the show. Uh, okay. Cool. You got it. You know. One thing I am gonna learn. One thing I am gonna tell. And you're absolutely right on date with it. You sing. Am I sick? No, do you sing? Oh, hell, we're all mentally sick. Oh, so. <laughs> 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 wait a minute. Um, I like to sing. I you don't have a think, good voice. I don't think that people like to hear me sing, but I like That's to sing. That's a lack of confidence, right? <laughs> That's like Joan, a lack of confidence. So you have an excellent voice. Thank you. Don't be surprised if I put you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> you have a uh, uh, soprano? I have no idea. I think I'm tone deaf. Oh, well, no. <laughs> Me too. I was kicked out of the chorus when I was in oh, elementary hell. school. They all told me to go do it. I got kicked out of art and I got kicked out of chorus. Can't you find something different now? So I used to stand outside in the chorus when they would rehearse and, and I'd go be singing right behind them when they couldn't see me. Yeah, I'd mess them all up. Loved it. One thing about you is you've got to learn how to let go of your revenge. Let go of your anger issues. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because you have a lot of that built up. Now it's time to release it. When you release it, then you, you're going to find what an amazing spiritual level you can be on. And also, don't when you're writing, don't correct the mistakes. Just keep on writing. Because a lot of times it's the spirit writing for you. Mm -hmm. And when you try to write it perfectly, then the spirit's really going to mess it up really bad. Okay, So I would definitely tell you not to change the writing. Mm -hmm. Especially when you start writing your little book, you're going to be with your mm -hmm. pamphlet. You're going to be teaching others what, you, what you're learning today, but you're going to do it in a different version. Okay, mm -hmm. You've also got some people that are going to try to interfere with you and Amy's friendship. The people that she might have worked with in the Mm -hmm. in the past, you know. Mm -hmm. And so just don't listen to the outside people, okay? The location that you guys are at, you're going to grow, and you might have to add, you know, move to a bigger location. And I'm not going to tell you it's going to be right away. You have a grandchild? Not yet. You sure? I don't know. <laughs> if they're hiding one from me, they're going to be in trouble. You're, you're son of player? <laughs> huh? You're son of player? No. Okay. Then you've got a grandchild coming very soon. And it's going to be a little girl. I'm going to child, really. It's going to be a little girl. And I don't see him being married. I don't think your, your son is, is ready to have any type of relationship. Okay. Is he in a relationship right now? He better work on it a little bit harder. <laughs> the son or the girl, I'm looking at, they got to, they, in order to keep the relationship going, this child can make a big difference. Your son is very opinionated. Lately, he is a lot towards me. <laughs> That's right, like mother, like son, okay? He doesn't understand what you're doing, mm -hmm. okay? And he's not ready to accept it, okay? I'm not calling him an atheist, but I am going to call him a non-believer until you prove to him that one is very... He has to look at things very factual. Mm -hmm. And he is intelligent. He's intelligent as Einstein used to be. He, both him and my ch my daughter won, uh, what well, not won, they earned the John Abigail Adams Scholarship, which wow. is they came in the top 25th in their class in MCAS. And that's from when they started taking them in the fourth grade all the way up to high school. Wow. You're you suddenly jealous of your daughter, you know, intelligent wise. They're always competing. Oh, they always right? compete with each other. You know. <laughs> your daughter is going to do an awful lot of traveling. Is she? Yeah. she in college? Not yet. How old is she? 22. Oh, okay. She's not really ready. Has she been to college yet at all? No. 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 She's not really ready to yet, but when she does, she's going to she's gonna do four years in, the, in two and a half years. You agree with that? I agree. It'll be short. And I actually see her Definitely getting a PhD shorter. very soon. I actually see her. If she did a lot with chemistry, she'd be excellent. Maybe she'd blow up the country. Who knows? You know? That was why I took my son out of chemistry. I was afraid he would blow up oh, the school. <laughs> 
I, he resents I, I, you for that. You know? I truly, truly, I went to the school and I said, you put my son in chemistry? <laughs> a lot of, like I said, the last 19, 12, 22 months have been very hard for you emotionally mm -hmm. and somewhat uh, financially. But they are getting ready. you got a leaky roof. I hope not. I just no. put a new roof on. Well, somebody down the back didn't do a very good job in the backside. It, was it leaking and that's why you got it? Okay. It's about I five felt, years old. Oh. Okay. I've seen this some, because of the weather. I've seen some of the, is it tile? No, it's asphalt. That's what well, well, the shingles. Okay. Yeah, okay. Good. There's something about the wind blowing up there, there. towards the end of it. You know, nothing, but they, they'll come and fix it for nothing. You could be picking up on the fact that we had a leak in our in our hotel this morning, and I saw I found it. Oh, you did? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that could be so, you have a boat? Not anymore. No, you're getting another one. We're getting another boat. My husband likes boats? Well, my husband loves boats. Nah. My husband grew up on the river. My husband actually built a boat. My son's building a boat, too. Oh, okay, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a nice boat being built, and I'm seeing it being launchable. I also see him selling it for a good price. You know, he can be very elastical, but he can also be very, if he likes a project, he can become very ambitious. Which one? Because they're son. both like that. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, your daughter's always going to be ambitious. When she really gets in mind, you know, your what your daughter-in-law. I don't see them getting married for a long time, but your daughter-in-law because they live together. I actually see her, and she too. She actually is also very smart. She is. Okay. She's very smart. She's very artistic. Yeah. Okay. But the housekeeping is not to your liking. <laughs> but I'm not anybody to complain about you know, housekeeping. I'm going to say it's in their house, but it's their house. Okay. Yeah. Your mother wants to know if you know how to use a vacuum cleaner. Absolutely not. That closet monster stays in there. And I want to know if you know how to wash your windows. Nope. She always complained. She did. She always complained about the windows. <laughs> no, you can't. How are you going to let the sun shine if you don't open your windows, she said. She's going to challenge you in the next two weeks to wash your windows. I actually was thinking about that this morning as I was laying in bed because I want to put um, something on them and how to get the screen windows in so I can wash them. you got to <laughs> wash them. you got to wash them. Well, all right. She's really being very persistent. She's <laughs> vinegar and water. Vinegar and water? And, and newspaper. newspapers. That's how I do mine too. You ever do it that way? Yep. And it let, less streaks and all that stuff too. You know. Yeah. And environmentally safe. It's yeah. absolutely amazing. Oh, I all get, that ink, but it doesn't stick. Yeah. I get so upset if I have it one little streak. I have to do the whole window all over again. You know. One of the things I do see, you got to get rid of that car. I'm sorry, but you really have. Which one? The one that just broke down, or the one that I'm driving now? <laughs> the one that just broke down. Yeah. The one that you're driving now is okay. I am a little, but, but there's one of them. It could be the one that broke. I keep feel, smelling exhaust smells. How many cars do you have? Well, the one that just broke down is still in the driveway because they're going to look at it to see if they can fix it. But I have a feeling that it's It's, <laughs> it's not it's worth toast. the money to have it fixed, okay? <laughs> yeah. You guys are not very good with your cars. You're not very careful with them. You jump in and you turn the key on. Maybe you might remember to put the oil in or check the oil. My husband's really good about okay. that. But you're not. Okay. No, I, I... That's what a husband is for, right? <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> and you good with your vehicles? Absolutely. I was going to say, yeah. if it has a key and it has a motor in it, that is not my job. <laughs> no, and I, and I called my, one of my ex-roommates up one time in Concord, and my car had a flat tire. I wasn't going to change that tire. Oh, he had geez. to find a ride all went to Concord to come and change my tire. I wasn't about to get dirty, you know. But the one thing about it is that what you were working with Amy is going to give you a lot more confidence. I actually see the store that you have there, the person Scott is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. That he's going to be back on the way, you're going to be running it. And I think that would be a good thing. Because I, I don't want to see a conflict of interest. You know what I'm saying? One thing I do know is that uh, your children are going to be fine. You're going to have, a, you're going to have three grandchildren all together. They're still young, you know. I also will tell you I see laser surgery for you. For my eyes? eyes? Yep. Don't I'm be afraid really of it. scared of that. <laughs> oh, don't me. Don't me. You know what? I, I went in there singing. You know, and a couple, and this friend of mine, I looked at him and I said, you're ugly. And it was girl, the ladies were, I said, you're cute, I said to him all. He says, I thought you were gay. I said, well, you're still ugly. 
<laughs> and then when I had my gallbladder removed, I got a, a Elliot Hospital with tier two, I can't complain. And I walked in there knowing that when I went out, and they were getting surgery, uh, you know, Reiki energy, knowing that when I went out, that I'm gonna feel a lot better. I went out and had peace there an hour later. Huh. Yeah. We, you know what is it, body heal thyself? And we yep. can. Absolutely. You know, that's Absolutely. why I don't go back. I went, the last start I went to when they put the thing on my finger that checked my blood pressure and all yeah. that, mm-hmm. they had it, it was almost hanging off. And they said my heart rate was 33. I said, well, what the hell am I doing here? I should have been in the hospital, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. And so I haven't gone back to a doctor. So, because I'm healing my own body. Nine thousand and ten. That's we actually had a lady. She, uh, the she. What did they call it? Um, a holistic, mm-hmm. natural path doctor, and she yeah. does really good. I, you might even know her, Jody McDonald. She was your guest right. last. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And and then another lady with the name of Peace that was on with mm-hmm. me too. I've had some really very good guests come on. I really have. So I could, you know, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, you may not want to call it. Maybe, hopefully, you're enjoying our shows, and not ever be afraid to come. But well, we've had yeah. some pretty good shows. And then uh, Scott named the show for us. I love that too. And I want to thank everybody out there. Next time, well, Mary was a winner of the show today. Oh, only at five more minutes, so we'll keep talking. I mean, I'm going to talk to. Do you have any events coming up that you're attending? Um, actually, this summer. Um, July uh, 22nd, I have um, a class at Lilydale. It's um, really understanding the essential um, essentials of grief and letting people understand that grief just isn't about someone passing. It's about life changes, um, whether we buy a new house, leave a new house, start a new job, um, get a divorce, our children leaving home um, at that age. Um, g- grief comes in many, many ways. Um, so that's what I'll be teaching then. And at Lilydale in New York, I also will be teaching uh, August 2nd. I will be teaching uh, the, it's called Rock Your World with Crystal Energy. And it really talks about us using crystals in our everyday life. And this could be on your website? Absolutely. And that's that on again? my website. And the website is www.amandadishong.com. And that's the last name. And it's Amanda, last name D E S H O N G. Okay. And we're planning, and everything works out right in July. We're looking for a place to look for, to have what we call healing pause. In other words, and it's going to be where if people like you have a dog, like we were talking about that dog, yeah. and, you know, and people can't afford to go to the vet. Thank you. And they can't afford to go to the vet when our, uh, when our charity gets going, when we pay for the vet to pay for them, or our grooming, you know. Uh, Wonderful. And this is what we're going to be working on. That's going to be our next goal. We talked about that before, right? You, and I, you, I mean, you yeah. had said something yeah. about it, yeah. And if everything goes right, I think it's July 26th or something like that. Well, we're not just sure of a place yet, but we're looking at Brookside Church. Okay, where we're going to have a lot of, um, I don't want to call it a psychic event, it's going to be a, maybe a summer, late summer event. I think, I think the word psychic takes too much out of it and people are afraid of it, so we'll have to come up with that. And maybe we'll have a contest here in the year to see if somebody could win, you know. And it's going to be to help raise money for the uh, healing pause. And we're going to have vendors, we're going to have a... Um, food sale like Mary can bury and we're gonna be having if you're around you're more than welcome to come we'll send you the paperwork you know wonderful and we'll have you be a participant again because I know you have a lot of good ideas okay okay well anyways folks I want to thank you Reverend Amanda for coming on I want to thank you for being the co-host today I hope it was as much fun for you as it It was for us it's wonderful I want you to remember every day that you are the winner and you can all look gorgeous like me. But anyways, <laughs> aren't you gorgeous? I try to be. <laughs> aren't you? Yes. Yeah, and all the people out there. Thank you all, and have a good week. We'll see you next week.